Hi everyone, Jane's Pants here bringing you yet another video. Now in this video is something I've been wanting to do for a really, really long time. I'm gonna build a wig. That's right, we're building our wigs here now. <laughs> and I have to give a special thank you to Peerless Hair who sent me some fabulous bundles. That's right, the girls got bundles now. Come on YouTube with a budget. They're so fabulous and soft. Be sure and check out Peerless Hair. This is the bundle set. This is in 18 inches in 613. That's platinum blonde for those of you who aren't familiar with the wig codes. I'll have all the information you need listed down below. Thanks, Peerless. Oh my gosh. Let's build a wig. Okay. Now, what I got here for this assignment is I got a wig cap off Amazon Prime and it came with a lace on it, but I cut it off. It's for like ventilating your own lace fronts, which is something I might do in the future too. So I cut the lace off because I got a frontal with these bundles and it's a nice netted wig cap, you know, kind of like a standard wig cap. Usually girls do it off of like a spandex cap, but I like this because it sort of gives you that structure of a wig base already. So I'm just going to go off of that. What we're going to do is, is cut into our bundles. Before I forget, I have to pin down our frontal. This is a frontal. It gives you the whole hairline like that, and it's all on a lace that you can adjust to your own size. And since I have a big drag queen head, well, I don't have to adjust that much. Plop it on right there, and see, this wig cap is great because it gives you an idea of where the whole crown of the head is, and I can just align that up. And there we go. And I just have to pay attention to where the crown is. We flip that over and show you. Now they can match up with the rounding here. Okay, I'm gonna take some pins and what we're going to do here is just secure that for now. We're not gonna sew it yet, but this is gonna be our guideline of where to stop with our tracks when we start building the wig. And see, I like this wig cap because from the look of the design, it gives you every bit of information you already need to know. Get our ear tabs all measured out correctly. Now just a forewarning, this video might be a little bit out of focus, or at least I will be, because all the focus is going to go on the hair and the attention to details in that. I'm really the background player in this one. I know, I know, so brave of me to do so. All right, and what can be a little tricky with the frontal is you have to get it laying flat against the head. Have an idea of where your hairline is going to be and sort of pinch it like that with your hands and then take some pins and we're gonna bind it down. Okay, so I pinned the frontal to the front of the wig and I left a little bit of space here, about a finger width of this much in between that and the ribbon of the wig cap. So it kind of gives you an indicator of where the top of the head is. Now the easy part is we're gonna sew tracks onto this in rows. And I'm gonna do a couple rows here for you. It's really, really simple. You take your track and you add it on like that, like that, like that, like that. We're gonna go upwards in straight rows and when you get to the top of the head where the crown is, it gets a little different but it's super simple. So let's start sewing. We're gonna take our track and measure it out here at the nape of the neck and that is where our first track is. Taking some scissors. That's our first track. Just like that. We're gonna pin that on and sew it. And for sewing, I'm using a floss that comes for hair. You can get this at Sally's. It's like $2. It's like that, it's like a thick floss for sewing in tracks. And the stitch that we're doing is a basting stitch using a curved needle. You can also get these at Sally's for very, very cheap. They're about a dollar each. Sally's, any beauty supply stores that sell wigs, they usually will have wig crafting needles and thread. And we're doing some basic, basic sewing here. So you take your two pieces, put it together, and tie a knot. And we're gonna do a base stitch from the wig. So tug a little bit from there and pierce the track in the ribbon. You don't wanna go through the hair. And we're just gonna do a circle loop stitch all around. So yeah, right now I'm building my beauty guru hair. So I want to have long, luscious human hair, just like Jacqueline Hill or um, any other beauty guru that has long, luscious hair that's long and straight. All right, would you look at that? That track is secure. She ain't going nowhere. So we're gonna go all the way along here and we're gonna do a knot at the very end of it and then start our next row. And honestly, it's gonna be a lot of repetition just like that. We're gonna keep going in stitches all the way up the cap until, like I said, we get to this portion right here. So I'm gonna finish the rest of these tracks and I'm gonna jump back and show you how to do the top of the head. And then we're gonna cut the frontal and style it. So I'll be right back. Hey kittens, so while I was working on this, I realized I made a few mistakes. What I did differently now is I actually placed the cap a little lower on the head to show you. So it's all the way to like the nape of the wig stand. And I sewed the tracks, I took them all out and I re-sewed them all on. And I learned like making mistakes is, it's gonna happen. And especially with me and my channel, I like to show you guys the mistakes I made and how I work through it. So what I did is, is I just took the tracks out and I lined them better. 
making sure they're all going straight because at the top they all were kind of starting to circle up and it looked really weird and bunchy at the top. So I'm gonna re-sew them and show you the difference it made. Like I said before, when you get to the top, you have to go along it and let it keep going and going until it's gone. All right, I finally did all the tracks. As you can see, the wig is now created track by track by track, all within a finger of spacing. Now I'm just gonna guide you quick on how to attach the frontal to the wig. Okay, so I have it divided here. This is the front. This is the back, obviously. So I'm going to divide the hair and then we're gonna try and get as much hair out of there as possible from the frontal so it doesn't mix in. And this is the end of the wigs. We're gonna go through the frontal and go through the cap, but we're not piercing any tracks or anything. We're just going to attach it sort of like we're doing, you know, surgery. And just that little edge tip here, the frontal, we're attaching to the base of the cap. And I'm honestly just doing a tight basting stitch to keep it together. Because at frontals, when they start to go, they start to get a little bald after you wear them for like, you know, a long period of time. And one thing you can do is you can take the frontal off and replace it when it starts to bald. You know, and if you just do a little simple base stitch like that, it's easy to you know, go through with a seam ripper and take right off and replace. But yeah, see, building a wig on itself is very, very simple. It's just, it takes forever. I've literally been here all night. See, it's as simple as that. I'm already halfway up the head. You just go all the way around from the crown to the other side of the ear tabs and you're done. Now, this is one way you can do it. There's also a way other methods to like build a wig that are a little more intricate. It's just kind of how I've learned to do it. There's lots of YouTubers out there who are really, really good at this. Like um, Miss Rosh Posh, I watch a lot, or Malibu Doll Face. And I actually lucked out quite a bit because this only took about two and a little bit of the third bundle. So I still have lots of hair extensions left. Oh my gosh, I'm probably gonna go through and add even more. Have like that real big like flippable hair fantasy. Welcome back, it's day two. <laughs> now in the past, I've only built one wig like this. I built a half wig, which is technically not the same thing. And that was years ago, back when I first started doing drag. This is the first time I've ever built a wig on this scale, like with a lace front and everything in it. It was quite the learning experience and I'm pretty proud with what I ended up with. This is her. She is long and beautiful. And that's the front. I say I am very, very proud of myself. I built a wig. Thank you so much, Peerless, for, you know, taking a chance on a little drag queen like me. I think I did a pretty good job. Like, the hair looks gorgeous. Now comes time for us to style it. And then I'm gonna put it on my head and we'll see how the final result looks. Now I'm going to curl it today with a curling wand because this is 100% human hair. Somewhere in Russia, there is a woman walking around bald. The curling wand is something I'm a little new doing, so it's gonna be a you know new experience for all of us here. I feel just like real fish, oh my gosh. Now I've parted off some of it because I wanna do a front part today. And what I want to do is, is I want to create some volume in the hair without having a hot roller it. So we're going to try this right now. Yes! First curl down. Yes! Curls! Oh my God. Do you guys remember that movie Sleepaway Camp? Three, two, one, and the curl is done. Okay, that one didn't curl quite the way I wanted it to. God. Like I said, it's a learning experience, kids. We're all doing this together. I'm doing great, sweetie. There we go, much better. Flip it out of my way. My boobies keep popping out. Fun fact, today I actually got my second breastplate. It came in the mail. And as I was trying on my old one for this video, I put it over my head and I stretched my arms out and pop, my breastplate broke. The whole side seam just shattered. And now I have to wear it like, um, how would you say? Like a bib. Like it's a neck bib and now the boobs go around it. But thankfully, I thought I had an ordered an extra breastplate. So I have another copy of this. It's just, you know, I have to be more careful with my stuff now. Oh my gosh. I can't just throw it over my head like a barbarian and be on the go. It was very irresponsible of me. And I'm pulling small sections like this, kind of like how I do a teasing set. I'm going to tease this too. Don't worry. I'm not just going to curl it with a hot wand and be done with it. No siri bop. You're getting the full enchilada from me because I, James Mansfield, I'm a sure thing, a woman. So what we're gonna do now is start the back section. And bear in mind, if the hair is longer, it's not gonna curl as easy, but you know, we're gonna work our way through it. We are tough, resourceful women, and we can conquer anything. So you get the curl I want. I'm generally leaving it on the heat for about nine to 10 seconds. 
Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Look, it's like gold in my hands. All right, and in case I wasn't clear before, like I said, I'm just taking small sections like I would if I was teasing the wig. And I take my wand, wrap it around, and I hold it there for about eight to nine seconds, maybe 10. Voila, we have a curl. I'm so excited to brush all this out and tease it up big. All right, I'm gonna do the rest of the wig off camera and I'll be right back, kittens. I am back. Okay, so I just curled the hair. I love it. She's looking real, real fish. I wanted a nice beachy kind of crimpy wave because I always do like a 50s really crisp wave from the hot roller. So I'm gonna go for something a little more 80s, 90s, you know, beach babe kind of wave in the hair. So let me just grab my, ow, burn the crap out of me. I reached over and touched the curling wand. I should probably unplug that. Let's unplug the curling wand. Take our brush, just start brushing through those curls. So bouncy, oh my gosh. I want her to look like she just got done swimming in the ocean. Yes, we want full, you know, Malibu Barbie. All right, Peerless, me up. That is my curled hair. I love it. Okay, now I'm gonna do something that I don't usually see a lot of girls doing. I'm gonna tease my human hair. Yes, we wanna give us a full Taylor Dane fantasy. <laughs> look at her. Tommy went to school with her in the 80s. Her name is like Valerie, but like your friends call her Val. And she loves going to the mall and drinking orange Julia says. Okay, so so far she went from like an 80s beach babe to like an 80s blonde party girl from the valley, which I'm also not mad at. And when I saw this, I, they gave me so much hair and the frontal had so much hair in it that I thought, oh my God, I'm gonna get such big hair out of this. I cannot wait to tease it. All right, I'm gonna tease the rest of this wig off camera because you guys see me tease a million times. So I'll be right back and we'll do our brush out in style. And we're back. We're gonna start our style and brush out or brush out in style, I guess makes more sense. Whatever, anyway, we're gonna style this hair. So taking my little comb comb, I'm gonna start smoothing over her and try and make some sense out of this 80s madness. Oh, mama, look at that. She is waved. She is a dancing diva. You can't tell her nothing. I'm liking that wave that's going on here. So like I always do, just using my hand to create that brace and just go along with the wave and encourage it. All right, taking our pick. Start pulling the volume back up. Because if you lose some of it in your brush out, that's why we got the pick. All right, and now she has sort of what I like to call the beauty shop set. If you notice, most wigs that you get at the beauty supply store, they always have like this nice crimpy curl pattern. If you get a wig with this curl pattern, you tease it out and brush through it, this is what you're gonna get, which is a really fun dance hair. It whips around real nice. Not that I know anything about dancing, but I've made a lot of hair for girls that do, and they always say they love the crimpy hair. Okay, and this is our hairstyle. I think she is just about done. I just gotta spray her over and she looks a little smaller here on this head, but trust me, once it meets the proportions of my head, you'll see just how much bigger it really is. And with the bottoms, like I always do, so you can rake through the bottom of it because you don't have to worry about the teasing there because there is no teasing there. All you wanna do is just clean it up and get it all going one direction. Not a whole lot and from a distance. That's how she looks. She's got a beautiful, beachy, crimpy wave. A little different for me on this channel. I wanted to give you guys something new. And it's very possible to do this on a synthetic wig. You just, instead of a curling wand, you use medium sized rollers, like those green ones I always use in my videos. All right, now I'm gonna try the hair on and I'll be right back. Welcome back. This is the final result. Oh my God, I love it. She is a beachy body wave lady. I look like I just emerged from the ocean. I wanna give a huge thank you to Peerless for sending me this hair to use today. I love it. It is so silky smooth and there was very minimal shedding, which is unusual for human hair bundles. Normally I have a lot of it whenever I use the ones I got from Amazon. Those always tend to shed, but this was actually really wonderful. And I feel like the only problems I experienced with the hair were, you know, the ones that, you know, I caused myself like having to redo the entire wig from scratch. That was on me, not them. If you'd like to have gorgeous, sexy body beachy hair like this from Peerless, it'll be listed down below. Oh my God, you guys, we did it. I got hair PR. 
I'm like an actual beauty guru now. Take that, Jacqueline Hill. And they said I wouldn't make it. Now, as far as styling goes with the styling wand, this thing was actually really fabulous. It's a different look for me. I don't normally do hair like this. As far as the curling goes, I do like the final result I get when I do my roller set. I feel like they're a lot more crisper and it gives me that more vintage effect. Whereas this one, it's more of a modern, you know, take on a curl. I don't mind either. It's different for me. It's something I don't normally do. Let me know what you guys think down below. On all the hair styled like that, it took a curl so fast and it also took my teasing really well. And I didn't have any problems with it when I was smoothing it out. So, thanks Peerless. And if you want to support this channel, well, you can always Venmo a book. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye. Click here and see me style a wig from Fashion Nova. Or see me style a $12 wig from AliExpress. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll enroll you in Tyra Banks' beauty tainment. Now click it.